In this video, I will show you how to deploy using one from zip, but without needing an external storage account. So I start with the same zip as in the first video. And in Azure, I have my empty app with only one modification. I've set website run from zip to one, as opposed to it being a URL as it was in the first video. What I can do now, if I go to Kudu, there is a special option on the tools menu to do a zip push deploy. And I'm going to now take my zip and drag and drop it onto here. If I now refresh my site, I'm running the core app. But let's take a look at what happened under the cover. If I go to uh, the Kudu console, I have this new folder on the data site packages where we see there is a zip that was uploaded that is named after the date. And there, there is this other file package named the text which points to the zip. It's basically telling the system, take the zip pointed to by this file and mount it under root. If I look at the root folder, it looks like the zip was just literally unzipped there. In fact, it was not. The zip was simply mounted at root. So if I try to do something like delete a file, it will not work. This gives only a read-only view of the zip. And the advantage of this workflow is that you don't need to have, you don't need to take a storage account to host the blog because it's directly hosted inside your web app. 